Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation, baby. If you guys want to go ahead and call in, and you got a question while I'm um, going live, um, you guys can call in. I won't be um, up too long doing this um, live feed, but I, like I said, I wanted to get a couple things off my chest and uh, talk about some of these uh, trending topics. Here, let me go ahead and pull this uh, shot up right here. I want you guys to check this out right here. So this is your boy, Shakur Stevenson, sparring with your boy, Vasil Lomachenko. And I want you guys to look at um, one of these picks in particular, man. Uh, now, one of these picks, you see them um, facing off which I think is, is rather interesting because the first thing you'll notice is uh, Shakur Stevenson, he has the regular headgear on, and um, Lomachenko, he has the, the more protective uh, headgear, uh, the bar that goes across your face, which is, which is smart, you know, when you're training for a fight and you don't, you know, you want to prevent any injuries, broken nose, cuts, whatever. But if you guys notice, when it comes to fighters like Floyd Mayweather, you notice Floyd Mayweather, his entire career, he always used the regular headgear. That's because he has so much confidence that he ain't going to be getting hit with multiple shots. He has a lot of confidence when it comes to his defense. And that's what I see when I see Shakur Stevenson using just the regular headgear against a very, very gifted, talented Lomachenko. That's what that suggests right there when you look at these pictures right here. You only see the real special fighters that really, really have a lot of confidence in their defense to spar with someone on this level without, you know, the excessive protective headgear. So, you know, I can't really speak on how the sparring session went, but, you know, it, it, it speaks volumes to me. It, it, it shows me that uh, Stevenson, he was very, very comfortable in there with Lomachenko. Uh, for those of you guys who missed the interview, I actually interviewed Shakur Stevenson right after he sparred with Lomachenko. Check that out. I'll put the link in the description box so um, you guys can check out that interview. He talked about how the sparring was with uh, Lomachenko. He compared him sparring to Lomachenko to him sparring with Errol Spence. So, you know, it was some good stuff, man. It was some real good stuff. But uh, I'm sure, I'm sure they out there working, man. I'm sure Stevenson is working. I'm sure that's great work for Lomachenko. I'm sure Lomachenko is working, man. Let me see what else is going on in the comment section here. Yes, sir. DBN Live. Hashtag New Media. Hashtag Dante's Boxing Nation. You guys already know what it is. Dante's Boxing Nation.